It is truly a good morning because God is good to all of us. Uh, continuing from the sharing yesterday about what is Lent, we come to this portion of scriptures, the scriptures today, which really opens our, uh, our, our understanding of God's call in our lives. In, in, in the reading in Jeremiah a while ago, there it says, listen in verse 4 of ch chapter 11, verse 4. It says, listen to my voice and do according to all which I command you. And so you shall be my people and I will be your God. In order to confirm the oath which I swore to your forefathers to give a land flowing with milk and honey as it is this day. Then the people said, Amen, O Lord. Lent is a good time for us to truly come and enter in the kingdom of God. It's a time where uh, Jesus said in the gospel today, He is of, uh, who is of God hears the words of God. It's a time where we truly look at the new creation realities that God has placed in our lives. I believe, you know, as we have all been uh, most of us, if not all of us, are baptized when we were, ch uh, when we were a child. We, we are confirmed. It is so important that the new birth reality be in our lives. Because Paul talks in, the, uh, in Romans in chapter 6 about so much about the old self. That's why in John chapter 3, it's amazing that Jesus was talking to a Pharisee, a Pharisee, a religious leader, a, one who knew the law, one who knew the, the Pentateuch, the, the, the books of Moses, one who is saved. But he was talking about the new birth. And he talks to us, baptized, confirmed people. He talks that truly the new birth in our lives, that we would truly walk in that new creation realities and forsake the old ways. I'd like to read again in Romans chapter 6. Therefore, we have been buried with him with, through baptism in, into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. So, for if we have become united with him in the likeness of his death, certainly we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old self was crucified with him in order that our bodies of sin might be done away with, so that we may no longer be slaves to sin. For he who has died is free from sin." Echoing the words of Jesus in the gospel today in John chapter 8, he said, verse 36, If the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Lent is a good time, actually every day is a good time, for us to enter into the land of the kingdom. As in the Old Testament, enter into the land of milk and honey. Let enter into the kingdom. It's not a question about salvation. We are saved because of Christ. But to truly daily enter into the kingdom of God is a choice that we have to make by truly walking in the in newness of life and truly being uh, seeing the new creation realities through His Word, through the sacraments. And truly allowing that to transform us into that newness. I'd like to bring you to Hebrews chapter 12, a very familiar scripture. You know, we have a whole cloud of witnesses watching us. It says in verse 2, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, despised in the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such hostility by sinners against him, so that we will not grow weary and lose heart. Verse 4, it says, 
You have not resisted to the point of shedding blood into your, your striving against sin. For you have forgotten the exhortation which is addressed to you as sons. My son, do not regard lightly the discipline of God, nor faint when you are reproved by Him. It's a time to forsake sin. Turn away from sin. You know, in Ash Wednesday, you know, turn away from sin and proclaim the kingdom of God. That is the proclamation that we truly turn away and enter in the kingdom of God and allow uh, to truly experience and realize the kingdom, we must truly live in newness of life. So th this time of Lent would be a good time to truly see, assess ourselves. Ano nga ba mga bagay-bagay na kailangan kong tanggalin sa buhay ko? Para tu tuluyan akong uh, manumbalik sa Panginoon. You know, in, in uh, much of the readings in Romans, uh, it's so important. That's why I, I believe in the new birth. I, even though we are already uh, baptized, and salvation is not a question here. Uh, we have been baptized, we have been confirmed, but still, just like the Pharisee, we have to be born again. And that's the reason why Paul was saying in Romans that there is an old self because there is a new self that has been renewed. We are called by God. Um, mga kapatid, it's so important that we truly make that choice to follow Christ in our lives that we would truly enter into the kingdom of God. And that is the only way we can see life in this. And uh, after all, in the prayer of Jesus the, 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 that he had taught us uh, that we may truly his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Because he wants us to live the kingdom life. He wants us to truly uh, experience the kingdom of blood. The, 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 the life of flowing with milk and honey. But we must make that choice. We must listen to him. Jesus was saying, if you, are, if you are of God, then you would hear the words of God. And allow that God, that words, uh, the words of God to transform us. That we may truly live in the kingdom of God. So echoing from the words yesterday, the beautiful uh, uh, reminder of truly what is Lent. Because we go through this every year. May we truly enter into the kingdom of God. May we live in newness of life. Na makita talaga sa atin what it is to be in the light and not in darkness. Okay, it's not our, our doing, it's all the doing of the Lord in our lives. When we allow Him to truly shine in our lives, we will walk in that newness. Hindi na natin kailangan sabihin because people will see the light in us. And that's what desperately the, the, the people outside the lost need to see. You know, so timely because the convocation is about mission. And we have to truly be the light, carrying that mission in our lives. So allow this time of Lent to be a time where we truly enter in. If there's any two words that you may remember in this reflection, enter in. What is Lent? We enter in the kingdom. We enter in newness of life. We enter in, we have been crucified with Christ. And it is no longer us who live, but Christ who lives in us. We have been buried through him, through the baptism in the, into, excuse me, into death. So that with the, uh, the glory of the Father be seen in our lives. That we too might walk in newness of life. So brothers and sisters, let us enter in. Enter in to the kingdom of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.